Hey guys, as promised, today's video will be a little study with me type of video. I have a midterm in my electrodynamics class on Wednesday, um, along with another midterm in modern physics, but um, this one is a bit easier, so I need to really study a lot harder for this class. Um, yes, and also tomorrow we have a group work in that class during the lecture slot. It takes all 50 minutes. It's a totally new thing to me. I've never come across of such thing as a group work during the lecture time. So essentially how the group work works is that we are split into the groups of three or four people and then we are given a problem from the textbook and we have all 50 minutes, the whole lecture slot, to solve it as a group and present the final solution to the professor for grading as well as we are given um, separate parts where we evaluate each other's work, how much each of us contributed, um, and what things we consider valuable, uh, what we have learned through the process, and things like this. So last week's uh, group work, no, the week before, it happens every two weeks, it was the first one and it was a bit of a surprise to us. We were not expecting this, so nobody was really prepared. And um, it didn't go super well, I'm, I, I think. As, the, as a whole class, um, as far as I can um, judge the feedback, everybody was not really doing super well because we were not prepared. Uh, so this time around we asked for a heads up uh, in advance, so we were uh, told that tomorrow we will have this uh, group work evaluation session again and we were actually given the problem already to start and think about this. For today's study session my goal is to uh, review the chapter one. I took my notes on it already and I think I know it relatively well I would say with the exception of um, a few sections in this where I don't understand things and I need to talk to the professor. Um, I also need to go through chapter two and three and um, read it for understanding, take notes the way I do take notes right now. And I'm also going to show you how I take notes this semester um, for two of my classes. It's something new. I didn't try it before, um, but so far I like it. I really hope I can stick with this because it seems to be working really well. So I'm going to show you now how I take notes and then move on to do the actual studying because I really don't have much time to lose and I don't want to drag this video out for too long. Okay guys, so this is how I take notes. I use this app, Notion, and um, I like use it for many things, but one of the uses is the school. I created this school page which uh, contains all the information about my degree, like coursework, or I plan my uh, classes for each semester so I am on track to finish my degree on time. Um, this is alternative plan if I choose to do the honors degree, which is um, adding one more year to my overall study time. But for today, uh, our topic, like our topic of interest is the electrodynamics uh, page, which um, has all my notes and it has some other um, remarks, like my weak areas that I am um, updating all the time, uh, depending on how far I am in my um, understanding of the topics that I absolutely need to know in order to do well in class. So everything in red uh, is the stuff that I don't know. I tried to study this, I didn't really understand. Well, I didn't spend enough time on it to be honest. So I need to do some work on here, my study strategies, which are also continuously changing. So, but the main thing I wanted to show you is the section where I am taking notes is this one and the cool thing about this is that it's not the notes in the sense that I would take normally um, 
this is basically uh, a summary of questions about the textbook, about each section in the textbook. Um, let's say, for example, I was studying chapter one on vector calculus and um, I was studying ordinary derivatives. So I would ask myself a question from each of the subsections. Once I understood, once I read the chapter, uh, understood the concept, I would ask a few questions and then try to answer them myself. So this will be the question, this will be the answer, which I can easily hide. And let's say I'm going to go here. So there's a lot more questions, of course, because uh, the topic is broader. But uh, see, um, these are not too many questions. And the answers are not very long either. So might be even like a few, a few uh, key points or um, uh, process on how to do something, how to solve for something. Um, yeah, some definitions with the formulas. And the cool stuff about this app is that I can use a uh, latex script to put my formula formulas in. The only downside is that I cannot put them in line. Let's say something like this, I wouldn't be able to put somewhere in here uh, because it doesn't support inline uh, equations. But I know that the developers are working on this, so I really hope to see that feature in the upcoming updates. That would be really, really cool and help, helpful. So this is in essence what I do for taking notes. And I can tell that from what I've done so far in the chapter one, it really has helped me to understand and learn the material and kind of remember it better. Uh, I remember all three fundamental, fundamental theorems, actually all four, uh, one for each of the derivatives. And it takes me on average about 20 minutes to go through all of the questions in chapter one, including giving the answers. So it's not bad, actually. It's really, and I like it better compared to flashcards, just because I have an overview. I have everything on my fingertips. And if I ever don't know anything, I can um, easily highlight the question with not a color, let's say red. If after a couple uh, passes through the questions, I still don't know it, I would highlight red and try to study it a little bit more. And so this is um, really cool and helpful. So that's how I take notes. I am going to go ahead and start taking notes on chapter two. So now that I have created this uh, chapter two outline, I will uh, start and read the textbook and putting in all the questions that I can come up with for this chapter so that I can review them later. And this way I will review them in an active way. I won't just passively reread my notes because um, there will be no way to do so. I will be forced to answer the questions that I have created for myself and this will help with the retention of the material. So now that I have created a rough outline for my notes, I am going through each section, trying to understand. Uh, just um, looking at this, I now realize that I already went through the first few sections. Yeah, I did study this. But the thing is, I didn't put any notes in my note-taking system, so I have no record of it. And now just looking at this, now I realize, oh yeah, yeah, I did actually study this. But I have no way to, um, you know, uh, like I don't have the questions just as I have in for the chapter one. So I definitely need to go through this one more time really quickly and see which questions I can come up with to help me with my um, review later. Yeah, so it looks like I went all the way up to electric potential. And that seems about right because um, I don't feel very confident with the topic of potential. Oh, and I already looked up the problem that we will be going through tomorrow in the group work in class. So this will be from the chapter three and it's the problem 3.51 as well as 3.50 as a help with this one so i would need to go through these two problems before tomorrow's class at 1 30 and i 
decided to do that tomorrow um, after my first two lectures because I will have three hours of um, time before the lecture in the electromagnetism. So that will uh, be sufficient, I think, to go through these two problems and to be more prepared for the group work session tomorrow. I'm sorry, guys, I didn't record the actual uh, studying process because um, A, I found myself easily distracted by the um, camera, so I couldn't really concentrate on what I was studying. And then um, my camera is dying, battery is dying as well. This is the second time that happened today, so this was one of the reasons I couldn't film more. It's already dark outside and I studied pretty much all day. I made pretty good progress so far. I am now going to wrap up my studying for the day and do some chores and then go to bed because I have to get up early in the morning tomorrow, either at 5 or at 6, depending on how late I go to bed, uh, but no later than 6 because I have to leave at 7. I consider this was a successful day and I really hope you guys um, had a good day too. So I'll see you tomorrow and um, have a good night. Bye guys. See you.